these soldiers are being escorted to the glass house. They've broken British military law. With effect now, you will march in this establishment. Look at me when I'm talking to you. You will march in this establishment at 140 paces to the minute with your arms up shoulder high. Anytime any member of staff in this establishment speaks to you, you will come to position of attention. You will remain at the position of attention until that staff tells you to carry on. Staff. 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 These men are Grenadier Guards, sentenced to four months' detention for assault. A thousand men and women from all three armed services get locked up here each year. Maximum sentence, two years. It's the strictest penal regime in Britain. Horsburgh staff. Admit safe custody awarded. 112 days staff. Get in here. Have you ever attempted or succeeding an escape from military or civil custody before? Never staff. Have you ever participated in the taking of drugs other than those prescribed by a medical officer or a doctor? Never staff. Possession of those tags, you are leaving yourself open for disciplinary action taken against you. Do you understand me so far? Staff. Whilst in this establishment, you march about in a smart and soldier-like manner at 140 paces to the minute, with the arms swinging shoulder high and looking up. Roger, so far. Staff. You're going to the big space space, is that across there? Put your kit down on the floor, then get back down the bottom and keep your bed in. What's the ball? Last three clicks. Let's go in there, let's get it done, sharpie. Let's go. Come on, catch it up, get up there. Civilization as we know it, that sort of thing. I mean, I'm used to that, a bit of rifting around, being the guards, but big shot. People shouting and screaming at you. Can I get your tags on the shoulder quickly? Get your nice water spoon ready. I just want to keep my nose clean and just get out of it, do the time and get on with my life. People arrive here just not knowing what's going to happen to them. The trauma of coming through receptions and through the main gate uh, and so on is perhaps a little bit off-putting and they're very ruffled by the time they get to the wing. Stand still! Stand still! Get covered up! Come on, I'm in the feet sharply! Still! Stand still! Look down on your feet. You twist at an angle, aren't you? Come on, basics. Where was you on public duties? Uh, Buckingham Palace. Um, Buckingham Palace, Garden Her Majesty the Queen. Sorry. And you can't even stand to attention properly. 690 Hallsborough, sir. Look down on your feet. Another guardsman. 45 degree angle. Close your feet in. Come on, you've been on public duties? Have you? Sure. Come on then, you should know better, shouldn't you? This pack's not packed very well, is it? Hey, no, sir. come on then. Let's get it together, all right? You wouldn't pack your rucksack like that to go out in the field, would you? No, staff. Don't call me staff, all right? Sure. Right, brasses. Showbread. Number nine. In fact, you was on showbread last week for your brasses, no, weren't you? Were you not? No, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. 
Well, they are honking. You got no excuse. Name. Hartley, sir. There's a very structured system here which uh, people un clearly understand, and if you step over it, you get put back into it. Uh, your boots are bogging at the back here. Put them on show parade staff. So I'm not. Number nine. Six, six, five. Occasionally we get servicemen here who simply refuse to do anything, and we eventually have to resort to rather more unfriendly means to get them to cooperate. What is it doing in your room? Forgot it, sir. You forgot it. Put him on show parade. Is that? And his boots are a bit tough. Murray. And the show Thank boots. Is that? Murray. I'm getting worried about you, Damien Murray. Did. I'm getting worried about you. Murray, show parade, Damien, that'll give you. Stop. Continue as you go, you know what's going to happen to you, don't you? Some of it is carrot, some of it is stick, and it's a, a well-known set of principles that works in the services. Chain stop! Chain stop! Chain stop! Bradley's got the right arm in. Chain stop! That's better. Uh, the average serviceman's perception of Colchester um, makes him not wish to come here, put simply. Many of the inmates are not frontline troops. They're cooks and clerks, unused to being pushed to the limit. Stop long! The big one goes, he goes on the back of the wagon, yeah? We reward for effort here, so the harder a person tries, the more privileges we will grant him, and the quicker we'll let him or her out of here. Every inmate faces kit and room inspections twice a day, every day. Garbage, all right, show parade. Right, you've obviously done the brasses. However, when you're putting the brasso on them, you're getting all the brasso on the webbing of the bag. You need to scrub that down tonight. Get all the white stains off it and redo the brasses. Do you understand? Yes, start. Good, turn around. Look at your boots. Staff. Berry's dirty. Staff 680 Murray, staff. EPDR 22nd of February, staff. Yeah. Sentence 42 days, week two, staff. All right, your bed block's coming on. All right, it's not standard yet. Staff's coming on. Turn around. They haven't been touched either, have they? Yes, staff. Bollocks. Show parade tomorrow night. Did you use brasses last night? Yes, yeah, staff. What with boot polish? No, stuff. Garbage. All right. Show parade. Tomorrow night. Bed block. Crap. All right. Stuff. You need to sort that out. Heap of garbage. Staff Taylor speak to you all about the bed blocks yesterday. Yes, stuff. Yes, stuff. Yes. All right. One or two have improved slightly. The rest of them, however, are still pretty bloody abysmal, aren't they? Look like an exploding sofa. Get some more work done on them. Yay! You, give the rest of the room a hand. Show them what's required, OK? Keep the noise down, wait for distribution. Come on, aggression! Fight up here, fight up there! Come on, race, that's it, good, well done! Fight up there, fight up there! Inmates regularly have to race each other with telegraph poles. Women in the glass house take this punishment with the men, but have separate living quarters. F section. Who did the bathroom? Staff, right staff. Right, these mirrors. Staff. Who 
pay more attention to them mirrors, right? About turn. About turn. It's all muck on it. All fluff. Not very good, are you, right today? Private Wright is 19. She's only been in the regular army a few months. There's lots of dust. I told you to take charge. Don't smile at me. I said to clean that bathroom. I told you last night to do it properly. Wright has been sentenced to 27 days for disobeying an order and making a false accusation. She was scared of the glass house. Make sure you press it properly. Just, don't forget the sleeves there. I'd cried, I'd kicked off at the depot. I was not coming here for the life of me. What anybody said, I thought I was going to... I had pictures of it, I had dreams of it, like it was going to be like this big white house and everything. And there's going to be loads of women there that were massive, absolutely huge, blaring at me and telling me that I was wrong and I was going to get beasted up and down here, there and everywhere. Come day! Come day! Boy, the lap! Quick, back! Yeah! I expect to be in there like you see those prisoner of war camps. I walked in through the gates and this chap just stood there, he says to me, stand on that dot. And you could see my corporal flinch next to me, never mind about me. Because Colchester is where all the really bad people go. I mean, I'll be right nutter to end up in Colchester. <laughs> Take him over now, eh? Gotta start working now! Come on, Joe! Come on, Come on, Come on, <laughs> if you talk to any of them, they all think they shouldn't be here. Because everybody's here and they know that they're here for disciplinary reasons, everybody's done something wrong. So you, you get close to people, really, because they all know you're here and that you've done something wrong. And you're, not, you're not worried about it because, you know, they're here and they've done something wrong as well. Inmates also have to brush up communication skills by giving formal lectures. Right. Hi, my name's Gail. I'm going to talk to you about my life because I haven't really got anything else to talk about, so I'm going to chat about that. I started bunking off school when I was about 10. I was suspended quite a few times, and eventually, when I walked through the door with a brown envelope in my hand, my mum used to say, Not suspended again, Gail. And so I used to go to sailing club when I was at school, and uh, I got kicked out of that, being disruptive. Um, <laughs> like you do. <laughs> then I went, joined the TA when I was. Uh, 17, just before my 18th birthday I joined. Then I decided that the TA wasn't really good enough for me. I wanted to do the regular army. Mountain climbing, walking down the beach with a bloke on your arm. I thought, yeah, it's just for me. Little did they tell me I was going to end up in Colchester. She says, oh, there's nothing wrong with the bathroom. And then she found the dirt on the bottom by the porch. I didn't even do it, did I? <laughs> what we're actually looking for um, is, are they improving? Obviously, they've come here. Their standards may be high, but they've got to improve. And this is what we're looking for, an improvement. Wright isn't showing any improvement and she's been summoned to the chief petty officer who runs F section. Why did you not clean the bathroom properly this morning? But I had a stop. When Staff Morgan told you to make sure it was cleaned properly. Make sure you do it this afternoon. I will check it personally. About to. Quick march. Um, I'm not sure what she's actually in for. We do get a brief outline but that's not our real concern what they've done it's how they perform while they're here um, and some people perhaps need a little bit more supervision and uh, a bit of advice more than others she'll come back in tomorrow afternoon she'll do show parade then we've already had one this week so it's not much trouble 
had one yesterday, and if you get three in a row, you get extra days. So. Control the aggression. Your life may depend on it. Detail. Oh, the military oh, crimes of inmates range from disobedience to assault with deadly weapons and murder. Oh, Come on, all the way in, Richie! Push it in! Oh, What's this? The rhythm method! Stop! Press back! Get straight in there, one, one straight through. Wind them up, Matthews, wind them up. Come on, Richie, he's killed your mother and your father, you don't like him! Okay! Okay! I got Let's go, oh, let's oh, challenge! Oh, Jack her! I got it on! I got it! I got it! I This is Alpha 1 1 in position now. While they're being punished, those held in the glass house must refine their killing skills. They're not officially in prison, but the authorities call them soldiers under sentence, SUS. Only one has ever dared to try and run away. It works and trust this place, and we work out after we've seen an SUS through the system for a certain amount of time, we will work out whether we trust him or not, and if we do trust him, we'll, we will reward him and send him up through the system. And if they step out of line, they know perfectly well that they'll be put back in line. Shift your ass! Get out of good! Unless you excuse Martin, get over there! Come on, hurry up! Get over! Dress across. Trafficking. You was briefed the other day. I'm going to tell you again. You do not give or receive from anybody any prohibited articles. You do not give cigarettes, lend money, buy the extra Mars bar, pass anything from one person to another. Peru is there to stop the bullying. The people who think they'll have a bit more than everybody else. You're all paid, you all get the same amount of money, you're all entitled to the same things. Is there anybody that doesn't understand what I mean by trafficking? What we are trying to do is to rehabilitate in some respect personnel. And, and so you've got to have discipline, you've got to have a system, and I suppose it doesn't really matter what system you employ, so long as that system works. Kieran, have you got anything on you you shouldn't have? No, staff, just my locker key. Are you sure? Yes, yeah, staff. I'll ask you again, have you got anything on you shouldn't have? Yes, no, staff. Okay. Staff. Oh, no. Empty all your contents out your pockets, take your berry off, place on the chair. Where have you been working? I'm uh, staff. Staff enforce the anti-trafficking warning. It's a surprise search. Okay, take left boot off. As I told him to take his right sock and his boot off, he, his, he took it off and just behind it or underneath his foot, I saw a wrapper. Initially, I thought it was a Mars bar wrapper or something. And whilst I respected further, it was tobacco. I asked him what he did with it, why he had it in his possession, he didn't know it was there. And what can you say? You've been rather fooled at yourself, haven't you? Yes, sir. This is not the first time you've come in front of me. All right, I'm starting to get a little bit tired of you. Do you understand? Yes, sir. One more time, you're going to be stepped out, I can assure you, when you go in front of the wing commander, he's not going to look very lightly at upon it. And you could end up in close confinement. When well, I give you four, wait to wait to right, wait to your room. Four. Private Raw was also caught with excess tobacco. He faces trial. The staff prepare their case. I told everybody before they went out this morning, that he wasn't to take anything sir, out, less for the two cigarettes. He's not complaining directly. No, sir. I mean, this is it. This is, he, Chief Whip can't say. You can't have hearsay. You have got to say what you told them, giving evidence, and Cheeseworth has got to say uh, what he found. OK, sir. Oh, I mean, it's as simple as that. Yeah, that's nice. Isn't the rest of them got told they weren't allowed to have backy with them. I'd come in here to get me buried when they were getting told. Come out, I'd back you on me. Nicked. Escort's 
in the queues. Step off the gather. Quick march. Left, right, left, right. Escorts in the queues. Halt! Right. Turn! Pressing back through something. One piece to the rear. Arch! Are you 536 Raw? Yes, sir. You are charged uh, on today's date with contravening the Imprisonment and Detention Army Rules 1979, Rule 837. Do you understand the charge? Yes, sir. Staff Cheeseworth. Sir, I carried out this uh, search and discovered prohibited articles on 536 Raw, i.e., um, cigarette butts, sir. I asked him as to where they came from. He said they came from the staff restroom. I then put them on your report, sir. Are you guilty of this event, Raw? Yes, sir. Are these the cigarette butts that are referred to? Yes, sir. You have been here long enough to know better than this. In fact, it's your second time round, is it not? Yes, sir. Right. Then you will lose three days' remission. March out. Right. Turn! Step off together, quick. March! Lift, right, lift, right. Let's go to the queues. Halt! The chaps that are here, for the most part, are here because they have had no self-discipline or because they've broken the rules. Our rules um, are fairly straightforward. Uh, they all understand them. Uh, they're repeated to them you know, time and time again to make sure there's no misunderstanding. So when um, a serviceman under sentence actually flaunts those rules, um, as he had, uh, then there is no option but to be harsh with them because they have to be shown that this is not to be tolerated. I goofed. I messed up. <laughs> What do you find so funny? Stuff. Eh? Stuff. Do you want to go back down there again? Do you want another fucking rerun? No, sir. Well, you best sort your act out, aren't you? How many more days are you going to lose before you leave? I don't know, sir. You don't know. You don't particularly bother here. Eh? You've got a choice. You either sort your act out or you'll stay here forever. I'm not bothered. <laughs> get your knives folks. Get out of here. A lot of them are very immature people. And that's the standard that we're getting in the army nowadays, unfortunately. They've got a lot of brain, but they just like maturity. It's seven o'clock in the morning, and Private Wright's in trouble again. Sir, six, seven, four, right, sir. Right, you've got a button on that. Come on, you've got to get yourself dressed before you come on parade. Put her on show parade and you get back to F-section. Yes. Wright was charged this morning. <laughs> on show parade, on the air wing parade. Her button was undone and her collar was out. She was charged because on the 28th of January, she had a formal warning by me because she's been picked up now six times. After this, she will be charged three days remission. She'll lose it and she'll be here for an extra three days. Wright is also in danger of losing more remission for not trying. Sir? She's now got to see the training officer. Get out, get out, right. Get a move on her when she gets in my office, otherwise she'll be in track one. Yes, sir. When you go up to the captain, what should you do? Salute. Right lacks a sense of direction and purpose in life. Right will work, and that's the frustrating thing again about it. If right couldn't work or couldn't produce the standards, then I could understand that. But right, when she when she cares to put a mind to it, can. Right, sir. Yes, Close the door, please. Right, I don't expect you to have to be told how to march into an office at this stage of your training. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. You're before me because I'm not happy with your performance, right? Yes. However, this week, there's a distinct uh, note that you're not trying. And that I won't tolerate. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. That is your caution, and I will annotate your report as such. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Right, march out. Salute. She'd been warned, she'd been cautioned by the staff that, you know, she needed to pull a weight and she'd got, I believe, an E for attitude. And I don't mind if people get E's or F's, providing that they're not getting E's or F's for attitude. I never, ever want to see the army again in my life. As long as I live. I never want to have anything to do with the army again. It stinks. Yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah. This salute to the right. Make sure the salute comes from the rear. Down. Salute to the front! Salute! Right, 
Oh, rubbish, rubbish! Yeah, right, yeah, right! Do it right the first time, once you do it again. The glass house regime demands that everything must always be in the right place and spotless. Don't get no more recommendation for that, Cole. What? You'll not get no more recommendation <laughs> for that. Right, ladies and gents, uh, briefly for this afternoon. Um, first one, Bradley. Welfare have stated to him that his admin discharge has now been approved. He's under the psychiatric help as well. He's consequently, he's on a downer. Um, he is emotionally disturbed as well, so we need to keep an eye on him, all right? He's been taken off training wing. However, on Friday, he starts from square one again. And if he gets picked up on the wing start major's inspection on Friday, then he's marking time. That's as simple as that, all right? Turn the facial locker, Bradley. If you look down at your pumps down underneath your chair, make sure you square them off before you put them underneath the chair, okay? Just starting to get a bit of dust collecting up around your box. So I want you to remove that within the next day or so. Right, I spoke to you the other day about the shirts. Right, you want to make sure you pay particular attention to this lot. Get these lines, join it up together, flatten it off. Okay, turn back. Bradley can't or won't get his kit right. After a few weeks here, most others can and do. Yeah, it's got a from parallel all the way along. Yeah, totally square. It's usually about four or five weeks before you'll start getting recommends for your locker. You take pride in your locker, you take pride in having a good locker, obviously. It's just a lot of faffing about, really. Once you've been here for a, a long time, it starts to to grow on you. Uh, it's just uh, quite weary now, like, every, every day I wake up, it's the same thing, up at six, uh, bed at eight, work and uh, inspections every day for six, seven months. Just uh, gets to you, like, with the death of me, <laughs> <laughs> these boots. Staff 6 is totally cured. Send in 60 days EPR, 16 of phobia staff. Better than Ewan. We're getting there. Surprising, even the locker's been dusted out this morning. Makes a change. Staff 665 flame, well, there's 60 days detention. You've had 9th of February, week 4 staff. A third of those in the glass house are being thrown out of the forces as part of their punishment. But for now, they too are subject to the staff sergeant's absolute rule. When you're standing tall with somebody, don't stand there, moving. Shows a lack of confidence. <laughs> some of them are okay. I mean, some of them are, are good blokes, but some of them are complete arseholes. They really are. And I mean, they, they just stiff you any way they can. If one of them takes a dislike to you, under Rule 83, that's it, bang, he's got you. And he can give you extra days just for disliking you, which isn't fair, really. Who's on the toilet? Staff! Yeah. If you've got fluff on your berry three times during the time you're here, you can get three extra days, which is, sure which is diabolical. Internet. If I give him a cigarette, I can get three days and eat. Says if the staff seem to think you could be attempting to do any of these things, so basically if you breathe or fart out the fucking direction, then they could do you for it. There is an improvement, as it was on Monday. There's still room for more improvement. Just because you are being discharged doesn't mean that you can slacken off. Understand, lads? Staff. So, when I come back in tomorrow, it's going to be even better, isn't it? Staff. Yeah. Like I said, ready for distribution. Morning inspections, they're all important because, you know, the serviceman knows exactly where he stands. His kit, his turnout, it's never normally quite right in the first days here. They're put on show parade, they're advised, they're given um, a verbal warning. There is a great deal of hustle at that stage. Yeah! Are you ready to do it? 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 Are you ready
This morning's inspection is more important than usual. It's by an officer. He's looking for the best room. Right, we check the jackets, uh, He's renowned for his attitude to dust. Sir, what's the name back, sir? Where are you from? Right, sir. Right. You ready? Yes, sir. Where'd you get that hat from, then? Get that pink up a bit, will it? Sir. Right, do you recognise that? Yes, sir. Right. Six zero nine, lovely, sir. Right. Do you recognise that? Okay. Attention to detail. Make sure that you check off your bed space area. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Thanks, Doctor Beckett. Right, the radio. Yes. Sir. Um, both those rooms had dust. That room was the best. Okay, so they've won the radio right, for this sir. week. If you like to know, room thirty-nine, sir. The right, inmates sir. will only get the radio for two hours a night. Right. They don't have TV. Well done, Jess. All right. You obviously got the best room this week. You've got yourselves the radio. Okay. Sir. Right on. Keep the standard up. Don't drop it just because you've got the radio this week. Do you understand? Aye, sir. sir. Right. Sort yourselves out now for training. Having a radio actually is um, a considerable perk to them, and so yeah, to that end it's important. But I think from my point of view, uh, the fact that it makes them work together as a team, as a room, uh, to meet an objective, then that's, um, that's the purpose of the radio. I think the setting of standards, no matter what they are, is important. Um, again, it introduces an element of competition. In. It also introduces uh, the possibility of one SUS shining against another and therefore you know making himself stand out the only, the only thing we're not used to is like the bullshit the the pressing and that I'm not really into it no need for it doesn't win walls and stuff does it by the job then straight up the wall with the tradition being been taught i don't hear any clutching or banging of weapons keep hold of them any questions no, no sir. sir any questions no, no sir. sir stand by go get your weapons yeah, 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 yeah. come on let's go get up Work hard, work hard, aggression, you don't want to do it, come on. I said, good night, well done, that's good, that's good, keep it up. Good, now keep going, keep going. Good night, well done. Don't give in, it's in the mind, it's in the mind, keep going. Good lad, aggression, come on, aggression. Over and over. Why have you stopped? You're giving in. Don't give in. Come on, mate. Come on, well done. Well done, that's good. The inmates of the glass house call this beasting. Private Ride will soon be released. The staff ensure he'll know how to behave when he says farewell to the commanding officer. Do not salute or attempt to salute the Commandant. If you make any hand movements towards him, the RSM will pounce on you. Right. Ta! Ah! Yes, 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 yes. Not time! <laughs> Once he leaves the glass house, Ride is also out of the army. He says he deliberately got himself thrown out by smoking marijuana. Get the arms going through to rear shoulder height. Because I'm only 18. I would have had to have done, I've done two years now, and I would have had to have done another three years before I was allowed to leave the army. And I thought that was a bit, bit um, too much of a commitment, um, saying, you know, leaving when you're 22, 21. And I wasn't really prepared to make that um, step. So I thought, get out, you know, within 60 days and start again, back into Civvy Street. Is there only one place where they need to Did you take them off to clean them? No, you didn't, did you? Right? A, you're not cleaning them properly, and B, you will damage the uniform because you'll get brasso all over it. Before he can get out, Ride faces his toughest inspection so far. Point two, the boots are filthy. Get your boots sorted out, come back carrying them, get your brasses on your collarbone sorted out. Go! 
He's a problem too. When he first came in, he was very um, untidy. He hasn't improved much at all. This kit was uh, in very bad order. Now it's just in bad order. <laughs> Fair, fair enough to everyone else that's soldiering on. They're, they're doing it for a purpose, to become better soldiers, but Wait, for us, this, this is supposed tissue. to make me a better it's civilian. A tissue. So. You can't beat the system, can you? You can't beat the system and self-admittance to drugs like, but we're all druggies. I don't mind to get out of the army, and so I've done my 60 days right, and now well, I'm out. He's getting a lot of staff problems um, with his attitude. Um, and his inattention to detail, basically. He's a very immature young man. Make sure you tuck your shirt inside the jacket. Staff, right? Clean these brushes? Yeah, staff. Still got a smudge. Top left hand corner, yeah. Get a fingerprint still on it. This is the second time you've been on. Hold your hand out, take the boots, go away, come back in five minutes, with your brushes done properly, and your boots pour some underneath. Underneath? Underneath. Left turn. March. Some people, if the face doesn't fit anyway, they get put down as an attitude problem. Only the staff don't try and tell them that. They just put them down as attitude problem or get them to have an attitude anyway. So either way, they could have you whatever way they wanted to have you. There's always going to be an element of the face fits, do you know what I mean? I mean, some people are just characters and they'll stand out. Have you felt yourself um, yeah, yeah. to be improved? Have you learned anything from this experience? Not really, sir. It's just a fuck about from the beginning. Why? Because 60 days discharge for self-confession of drugs is just it's pointless being here, isn't it? Just wasting your time and everyone else's. I mean, no. Keep working. You've got one and a half minutes now. <laughs> Things running out for you and me. It's going to be before and after. <laughs> we'll probably end up throwing them, so... <laughs> It's just, it's the last night and they think this is the last time that they can fuck me about ever. <laughs> so, that's basically what it is. They're getting their money's worth. For Private Ride, the crunch has come. Get your boots down. No, I'm not going. Right, let's try this thing, OK? You come down. You've got it. Put your head down. The staff have the power to delay his release if he fails again. Now, what's you doing these, so now they're done. Yeah? Sorry, sir? I watch you doing these, so now they're done. Turn round. Stop shaking, Brad. You go, Aizen. You quite comfortable with tomorrow, Commandant? Yes, staff. You've been through it, have you? Yes, staff. About done. Take a bit, sir. OK. You require a bit more work on tonight. During the lock-up period. OK. Staff. They're much better than they were five minutes ago. OK. Staff. Good luck tomorrow when you get out. Okay. Staff, Left hand. Quick, match. Radio! Radio! Working. Don't bring it. Cheers, sir. Just before eight at night, and the platoon in room 39 get their hard won radio. Genuine music. Third week in a row, this room is one of. Third week room in this room is going. The supreme platoon. The creme de la creme of this the is the platoon. We always win it. It's just, you know, it's just <laughs> no, We always get the radio. No, we don't. Third week room is saying something. Everyone in this room has been in about seven, eight weeks, so you start to get the grips of the score after a bit, like. Private Raw is in the glass house for six months. He knifed another soldier. It's just all weird stuff. A lot of it's like music influence. I'm into heavy metal and things like that, so it's, it's all the evil stuff that comes out of there. That's, that came from an idea of a song I've got. About. I've got a group, uh, a group called Commando, which are a bit of a punk group, and they did a song called Subhuman. So, And I started off, and it started off like that much. And it looked quite attractive in that. And I thought, the, you know, the, he's going to start thinking I'm sane or something, so I pulled her eye out and put a robot sort of eye in. 
He's actually done some of his own tattooing, haven't you? That's just all sorts. Majority of it's skulls, you know. I love skulls. And, you know, it's sort of first thing, you get your first paycheck, you've got loads of money, you think, great, so you go and blow it all on stupid things. And I blew mine on tattoos. Tell them what you're in for, Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> Stabbing someone. You're in for sharing, yeah. sharing sharp ob objects with a friend. <laughs> I went for someone with a flick knife and got myself a six month old day for nothing. Six eight five fifth and awarded six months EPDR thirty first of May, sir. Right, looking around, Biffy. Everyone else has got their knife on the left hand side of their utensils. Sir. Attention to detail. Good. So 652 McLaughlin Award, 112 days, EPDR 40 to February, week 5 star. Sir. Sir. Come on, there's an officer present. Thanks, sir. How long have you been here? Five weeks, sir. You want to start getting a grip of yourself? Yes. All right? Sir. Sir, 651 McMillan Award, 112 days detention, EPDR 26 of February, week 5, sir. Week 5. And after five weeks, we don't know how to put our belt on. Sir. Well, what's your excuse? There is none, sir. Do you know the rules? Male in the right hand, female in the left hand? No, sir. Will you do now? Yes, sir. Break rank. Take your belt off. Sort it out. Break rank. Mail it. Break rank. From here to the death. I'll tell you break blank. Okay? You've done basic one, two and three. I'm on basic three, sir. You're on basic three. Well, I shall be speaking to your drill, stru drill instructor this morning. Because if you're on basic three, you should know how to break rank. Do you understand? Yes, sir. We have to guard against having the regime so strict uh, that we don't achieve our aim. Uh, that they don't get the opportunity to um, practice self-discipline, which is important. At the end of the day, that's the thing that really matters. We can put as much discipline on as we like while they're here, but if when they go away they don't practice self-discipline, then we've really not achieved uh, what we're here to achieve. Private Ride is almost out of the glass house, but he faces one last beasting. You have been exercised on the Commandant's rehearsal, yes? Yes, sir. Make sure you think drill, drill, drill at all times, or you will be staying here. Step to the pace I call out. Quick! But Just right! Just right! Just right! Just right, 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 there, keep it going. Step sharp. Well, I think the pace of life's important here because um, if we allowed youngsters who are in detention just to sit around feeling sorry for themselves, then that's exactly what they would do and they would fester and they, in their own minds they would brood and what was right and what was wrong with what they'd done, what we were doing to them if we keep things on the boil, and they don't have time to reflect like that. They've got the rank, they've got the brains, sort of thing. And you're just the Bakshi private. So it starts, you know, from there, really. You go in and you shake a bit, and everyone's shouting at you beforehand. You march in quickly, you salute him. He spills off his little sentence that he's learnt at breakfast. And you march out again, and that's it. So you only see him for a couple of minutes. So. Your kit's got to be perfect, and yet he doesn't even see your boots because he's sitting behind a desk and all that lot, but it's part of the army bullshit, really. It's a good laugh, so... SUS, SUS, sharp! Step off, quick, march! Left, right, 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 Ride is being seen by the Glass House's second in command. You've been with us since just before Christmas, haven't you? Yes, sir. Now, you came in with drug, a drugs problem. We've still got this problem. Yes, sir. Great. Because when did you start taking drugs? It was just um, the once, sir. Just the once? Because it is noticeable. I've read your commanding officer's report before you came here. You're a bloody good soldier. And suddenly you took drugs and you went downhill. You've been a fool so far in your life. You've only got one life. Okay, Doug? So when you go out here, keep off the drugs. But if you go back to the drugs, you're going to ruin the second part of your life. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Right. Let's go back to what you've done here. Have we been of any help to while you've been here? Um, you haven't, you haven't, sir. Well, how have we helped her? 
um, you've given me time to sort myself out to yeah. think about problems that I have that I have had, and um, just generally giving me the push towards City Street. Okay, I've got to ask you: Have any have you any complaints about the treatment you've received while you've been here? No, sir. Right, Arsene. Right, right. Stop! Step off, quick march! Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, 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 Start switching on right, okay? You're not a civilian yet. Brace up your shoulder. Party! As you were. Party! Party! Cha! Right, you've both been released today. Whether you like it or whether you don't like it, you still look like servicemen. When you leave the establishment, make sure you don't talk about anything relating to the army, because otherwise, there's eyes and ears about everywhere. Somebody may hear or overhear what you're saying. Next thing you know, you become a target. Do you understand? Sir. Yes, sir. Remember, your hours until 23.59 hours tonight, should you get drunk on the train or commit any offences, are picked up by the military or civilian police, you'll be brought back here and you'll be dealt with accordingly. We're dealing with um, a lot of service personnel who've gone off the lines, but really, they're not bad people. Uh, in fact, there's quite a lot of them that I would willingly take to war with me any time. Private Wright has received the news she's been longing for. The army has decided to dispense with her services. She's dismissed and gets out tomorrow. The discharge is gone through. Well, she's over the moon at the moment. Because um, she's just not cut out for the armed forces. She doesn't like discipline. She doesn't like being told what to do. We have to try with everybody that comes here, and that's our job. We try and motivate them, but some people, you just can't motivate them, whatever you do. And she's just one of them people, I'm afraid. Private Wright will soon be a civilian. This is her final interview with the camp commandant. Right, sir, excuse me. She's aware it's a formality. Um, right, you're leaving here to... Um to go back to Perbright to pick up your kit to become a civilian, is that correct? Yes, As you understand it, right? As as and how, how long have you been in the army? Not long. Two months and 25 days, sir. So what do you intend to do when you leave the army? So I'm going to be paramedic or a nurse, sir. Whatever you choose to do next time, for heaven's sake, stick at it. Because otherwise you'll go through the early part of your life going from job to job to job and never really getting anywhere. So whatever you choose to do, and I hope you're successful being a paramedic, stick at it and be determined to make a success of it. Right, time. Macho. Army number? W0825313, staff. If I never see this place again, it'll be too soon. I just, I never ever want to go into prison again in my life. Yeah. It's just, it's just a nightmare. Ready to go. When you... Right there! Right there! Come on, get a couple of steps! Just two minutes, we're just waiting for a bell button, mate. I can't wait to get out and just like. I'm dying to get to the train station and be a civvy. I missed my mates, I was crying earlier. Because mates are making air a lot, mates for life. Just glad I'm out. <laughs> Less than 6% of those sent to the glass house re-offend. Civilian prisons report that nearly half of their inmates are reconvicted. My name is Major Chapman. I'm the army missing officer. 